look, the way I see it, the way I see it, it was only a matter of time. I'm going to keep it a buck. It was only a matter of time, bro. I've been a Hova fan damn near my whole life. And this is very important to me, man. This is very, very big to me. I just got out the shower, by the way, wearing a towel. Yeah, that's how we do it, super buttery. Anyway, so Jay-Z and Beyonce. Beyonce part ain't that crazy to me, but Jay-Z officially cut ties with Kanye West. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. It finally happened. Now, I wanted to get my whole take on it. I wasn't even going to do a video about this, but then, because I'm getting ready to shoot the monfu, another monfu right now, but I had to do it as soon as I hopped out the shower. I read it before I went in the shower, and then I hopped in the shower thinking about it. I was like, nah, I got to talk about this, because this is big. This is big. Now, Jay-Z has been working with Kanye West for a long time. Real long time. Kanye made H to the Izzo, if you don't know. But now it's looking like it's O-V, H to the Izzo. Look like it's O to the Vizzo. See, I did that, O, V, O. Anyway, as a J fan, I've been sitting here for a long time questioning, how is J? Like, knowing the character that Jay is, knowing what he stands for, knowing what he speaks about, how is somebody like Jay, my bad, my uh, laundry machine's on, how can somebody like Jay really have a good relationship with Kanye West? I never understood that. I said, Kanye, now I understand opposite to track, you could be cool with people who aren't like you, but it's not even that they're not like each other. Kanye West is the polar opposite of everything Jay-Z stands for. Kanye West is still in the mind of trolling. Kanye West is still Kanye West is still in the mind of kind of like a child, kind of like the youngest people in the game right now. Like he look like he gets a lot of his swag from Takashi Six Nine, like his promo swag. So as he'll come out, like Jay Z will make Four Forty Four, which is a dope album, talking about everything he's going through, talking about everything he put his wife through, talking about where he is in his life, mature woke album and then kanye west will come on an album with kim kardashian's ass as the cover so i'm like this uh jay say uh is you uh you know you say you know that you say that so you saying the ish that i'm spitting is worse than these celebritons showing they kitten you kitten jay said that and who is a celebritan kim kardashian might be the queen of the celebritons so i was sitting back like yo it seemed like everything Jay say, Kanye does the opposite of. Kanye is not a person like Jay at all. And I've thought and for a long time in the back of this all, Jay has not liked Kanye. When Jay didn't show up to Kanye's wedding, that's right there when I was like, I mean, I knew he probably didn't like Kanye as a person, but it, it was for business. But when you didn't show up to your wedding, that means that he didn't even care what that looked like. Because, of course, everybody's going to be talking about it. Of course, right? And here's the thing I can't stand about Kanye West. Kanye West acts like Jay don't have every single right to not mess with you. In fact, co-signing you is almost becoming a detriment to his people. Just because Kanye is somebody who is willing to almost sell out his people for promo doesn't mean Jay is. Jay is the Kanye that... Kanye came into the game as Jay is still very pro pro black, very pro black. He walks around with a five percent chain on. Really, y'all thought the niggas got along? What? People are like, oh, so there's no Watch the Throne. Watch the Throne Two is never coming. Let me just tell y'all, I love Watch the Throne One, but Watch the Throne Two is never coming. So let's read this article, man. I was saying like, what was taking so long? And I knew once. Man, it's super, super washed out. And I knew once, because uh, 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 Kanye's been doing a lot of that Trump stuff, a lot of that Trump stuff, but I was thinking in the back of my head, how long does Jay, someone like Jay, maintain a friendship with somebody who supports Donald Trump? Like, 
Did, did y'all forget who Jay was? For how long can he stand next to somebody who supports somebody who is damn near against everything Jay-Z stands for? Honestly, you know what I'm going to say? Good for you, Jay. That is good. Now, they didn't come out and make like a public announcement about it, but the fact that y'all don't... Uh, 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 that you're making it a fact that you don't mess with him anymore. I like that a lot. I, I like that a lot. I, 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 it shows that Jay is like, you know, there's a point. Anyway, I just saw little Zan said the N-word. Oh, God. Anyway. So, yeah, Jay-Z is cutting all ties. Let me, I'm trying to find the article. But I was saying, for instance, it makes all the sense in the world that Jay-Z would not deal with somebody like this because it is, it's not even just a bad look. It is like, it is literally like a horrible, it's not even, it's, 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 it's reversing everything. We're talking about someone who stands with Colin Kaepernick, bro. We are talking about somebody who stands very openly with Cap. So... What are we doing here thinking that, tr like Kanye, I, and I loved it, Jay, thank you. Because you can do whatever you, in this world, you can do whatever you want. You can be a troll, you can say slavery was a choice, you can not think before you speak, you can talk about, oh, I'm learning as I speak, which is very irresponsible. You can do whatever. You can use the plight of black people to sell your records. And guess what, Kanye? People are still gonna talk about you, people are gonna still post your stuff, people are gonna still rock with you, but guess what? You can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't have your, and Jay said, uh, you, you, know that, you know that piece of cake that I gave you? Yoink! Give it back, thank you. Go ahead and eat your cake. Eat the rest of it. Eat the cake, anime. Eat that cake, anime. I said, eat that cake, anime. Anyway, so let's read this article real quick. Okay. There was a time Kanye West and Jay-Z were best friends. Now, we don't know that for a fact. Let me just go ahead and point that out. We don't know that for a fact. We know there's a time with their acquaintances. Best friends? It's a little bit of a reach. Ye even looked at Jay as sort of a big brother rapping about it on graduation. Now, whoever wrote this article, off those first two bars, I can tell you don't really listen to Kanye or Jay that much. I can tell. Because Big Brother wasn't a good song, he said. Because he looked him like a Big Brother because he has a song called Big Brother. Big Brother, if you listen to it, is talking about how Kanye did stuff, didn't get credit for it, and then Jay did it, and he got credit for it. Oh, you did a song with Coldplay. I did a song with Coldplay. Big Brother is not... Listen to the lyrics, oh, excuse me, listen to the lyrics for real, and then you come back and tell me if that was like a I love you song or more like a, hey, I rock with you, but you're kind of big brothering me a little bit. Okay. While we did receive some teases for the forthcoming collaboration between Yeezy and Hove, Watch the Throne 2, we never knew if Watch the Throne 2 was going to have Hove. This guy is just, whoever this dude is in the article who wrote this article, you reach him, my G. Watch It Throne 2 may be suffering a major setback considering Kanye and his wife have reportedly been completely written off by Jay-Z and Beyonce. We were all seriously crossing our fingers that the two would link up and fulfill the promise Ye tweeted out. No, we weren't. No, we weren't. See, y'all, like, people be getting caught up. I've been washing my hands of Kanye. I'm going to still review his music. I'm going to still listen to his music because there's a lot of people who like it, but I don't want it. I don't care. I am. I could care less if Yandy drops. I streamed it for. I stayed up trying to stream it after that. I'm like, I could. I could care less if this drops. Honestly. Anyway, it seems odd for Kanye to be saying that Watch the Throne Two was a way because we've already heard about this rocky friendship. Kanye West does not think before he speaks. Stop giving so much merit in the things he tweets out. Let me go ahead and skip. According to Daily Mail, the decision to cut off Ye and Kim has been to do with their political support of Donald Trump. Who didn't see that coming? Um, the Chicago superstar has been incredibly vocal about support for the president. And although Kim has said in the past that she does not agree with his views, she met with him several times in the Oval Office. Good job, Jay. Good job. Things have gotten so bad that the power couple want absolutely nothing to do with Kim Ye. Despite the, the private nature, both beyond Be B and Jay supported Hillary Clinton as she ran against the eventual president. 
I put one plus one. I was waiting for this to happen. I was like, when does uh, Jay and Beyonce sever ties from Kanye and Kim? Because it's starting to look crazy. And I, I, Kanye's cool looking crazy, but Jay, you, you mean too much. You mean too much to hip hop to just go out here looking crazy. I'm glad you did this. The Carters have ju just wrapped up their ultra successful tour and will be enjoying some much de deserved rest. Maybe they'll turn around on Kim Ye, but probably not. Here's what I'm saying. Jay, hold strong. Don't ever, don't ever, until Kanye, and listen, honestly, just don't ever hold, like, just be Jay, all right? You don't need Ye, and because I was going to say, if, if, unless he, Kanye comes out and does a public, public apology, then you could, you know, whatever, whatever. I can't tell you why you, when or when you shouldn't rock with someone, you to God. But I'm saying, as somebody who looks up to you and has looked up to you since I was probably eight years old, thank you. Your integrity, you don't need money. Huh? Everybody wants money, but you don't need it. Your integrity means way more. And I'm glad that there's still some artists who care about that. Salute to Hove, man. Salute to Beyonce. You know what I mean? Villa is in the fucking coop. For the fuck up the zoo. Ah! <laughs> the goats. Put in the comment section, would you sever, is Jay in the right for severing his ties with Kanye? Or do you think that he should have made up with him? We on the road to uh, 30,000 subscribers. We're going live today at 8 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be talking about the beat. Eminem introducing Joe Budden for the BET Cypher. We're going to talk about Vic Mensa and his little BET freestyle. And we're going to just be talking about the BET Hip Hop Awards and all the shenanigans. So, yeah. Shout out to everybody who's purchasing the merch. We got some new merch coming. Brand new merch coming. Pink Munfu. Breast cancer awareness hoodies are coming. Uh, uh, make sure you, if you're on the live stream today, you on the live stream today. <laughs> it's going at 8 p.m. Eastern. Shout out to everybody who be purchasing the merch. It means the world to me. My name is Screw. I'm pretty freaking awesome, but I won't be anything without you. That's the J Nation. And I love you. Oh, boo, boo, boo. <laughs> Peace.